Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be taking you through the Jackson Pollock inspired art exploration and we're going to be using code from the Creating Colorful Patterns module. So you can see here in my script area I have three different sets of code. So this first set of code creates the dots and this second set of code creates the lines and then this third set here is just a combination of the two. So I am going to use all three of these in a Pollock inspired art piece and I'll go ahead and guide you guys on how you could do the same. A feature that I really enjoy being able to change is the pick random color. So in pick random color you can set the hue to pick a random color between 1 and 255 and that's the scope of the color spectrum. So if you knew specifically what the numbers, what colors the numbers correlated to, then you would have a better idea of how you wanted to organize your art piece. So we actually have this color chart here that you can just drag and drop into Snap, and it tells you exactly which pen numbers correspond to which colors. So if you wanted to make a Pollock inspired piece that was mostly warm tones, you could choose to pick random the numbers between 4 and 17 because those are the warmer tones that we can see from our color chart. So if I want to do a more cool toned piece, then I could start with maybe the cyan color, which is at 48, and then go down even to the magenta is 87. So now it's going to be a cooler toned piece. And I can also hide my color chart. When I go to run my program, it's going to only pick the random colors that I've selected on the spectrum. So now we've just got the, the blues, the purples, and everything in between. Another feature that will be useful if you want to add a little bit of variation into your project is to modify the dot and the line commands. So if you go in to edit the dot command, you can see that we've set the pen size, we've preset the pen size. You can also add a pick random here. If you go into the operators category and grab the pick random, then you could do um, dots from size 1 to 10 or 10 to 20. That's completely up to you and that'll be a stylistic choice you can make. And you can also do that in the line command. You could add in a pick random. So you can play around with that and there's always things to play around with in the pin category as well. If you go into the pick random color Right now we're just setting the hue, but you could also say to set the saturation, brightness, or transparency. And you could do a pick random as well here, where, where now um, I could choose the transparency and then I'm going to have a variation of transparent dots on my piece. I'm going to change my dot size a bit just so we can see a little bit better. How about 10 to 15? So now you can see some of the dots are overlapping and a little bit of a transparent style, but you'll have to play with it in order to see what comes out looking best to you. So let's see if I run the program now. I have even more transparent dots. And I, you can always go back in and edit this while you're, while you're running the program. You're not set in stone to anything. So you can always make adjustments. I can also run this with the dots and the lines together. And the amount of times you run the code, you'll obviously get more lines and dots. It's up to you completely like when you want to stop running the code and where you think that your piece is finished. 
I tend to like to fill mine up a little bit more and have a little bit less white space. So to me, this looks beautiful and I would be ready to save this. So once again, I could go right click onto the stage area and choose pick. And then I could save this to my local files. And that's how you can explore creating colorful patterns in a Jackson Pollock art style.